Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on block 10 of the 2024 Scrappy Sampler. Let's get started. To start with this block, we need to make our flying geese and we need eight of them. And we are using the stitch and flip flying geese method. So I have my rectangle here. I put my square on so that everything is lined up and I'm gonna sew across the diagonal here. Then I'm just going to trim away, leaving about a quarter of an inch behind. Finger press this open. And then we're going to sew on the other square. We're going to do it in exactly the same manner. And sew along the diagonal again. Then we'll do the same thing where we just trim away the excess, leaving a quarter of an inch behind and we have one of our flying geese units. So we need eight of these and you make them all just like that. Once you have them made, we're going to be making flying geese pairs like we have in other blocks in this sampler. These ones are gonna look like this. So I'm gonna chain my foot to my quarter inch foot and then we'll sew these together. And when I piece these, I like to have the point on top, the one that I have to watch, so um, we're not cutting off the point. So I sew across here, and as I go, I make sure that I'm not going over the intersection of those two threads so that my point is not cut off. And this is what our unit looks like then. And we need four of these, so I have those made. And then we'll set our flying geese aside and we need to make uh, strip units. So that just takes a background rectangle and I'm using purple here, a purple rectangle. We're just gonna lay one on top of the other and then sew across the longer side with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And we need four of these also and I have my other ones made. So this is what it looks like. And then we're just going to start assembling our block. So this block has a flying geese unit in the top right corner, and that is next to a strip unit. So I just match these up. And sew down. The next one is a strip unit with our center, and I have a solid pink square here for my center. You can do these in any color combination. It doesn't have to be um, the ones I'm listing. So feel free to really pick out anything you want to make these. The next two we're sewing together are the flying geese and a strip unit. Then we're going to add on the next column. And if everything is pieced correctly, that flying geese point should be right at the point where these two strip units come together. So um, it is tricky to have that, you know, be exact, but that is the goal there. And these flying geese units are placed kind of in all different directions in this block. Um, they kind of rotate. So the first one's pointing over, then down, then over and up. So it's kind of like they're pointing in a square. Uh, but so pay attention to the layout when you're putting these so that all of them are placed correctly. And the last piece we need to add is a flying geese unit and this one is going to be pointing into the center and it's going to be the same as the other one. If this is pieced correctly, the point of the geese is going to be right at the intersection of the pieced unit. And then this is what our block is going to look like. And I just did what I said not to do. <laughs> this one is not pointing in the right direction because it should be pointing all around a square. This one's going the wrong way. So what I need to do is just unpick this seam, turn this block around, and then that'll have it fixed. Okay, so I just, um, this is, a, is the long seam. And to unpick then, I just need to come past here. So I usually start somewhere in the middle of this block. And um, I do know that you can turn the seam ripper the other way. <laughs> Sometimes people comment you're not using it right. Um, but I'm intentionally doing this here. 
to go slow and make sure I don't rip any of the fabric. Uh, so there we go, I'm off. I have about that much off, so now I just need to take this one off. Okay, and once I get that pulled off, then I just take off and I pull all these little um, bits of thread that were seam ripped, just so they're not hanging around. And now I can fix it. So I want this piece pointing in like that. So I just kind of fold this bottom out of the way and then I line this piece up. And we'll sew it on that way. So now my row is correct. This row is correct and I just need to finish this seam. Since I seam ripped this starting in the middle here, I'm gonna go like a little bit before where I started and then I do um, like a back stitch there to secure that because I don't want the whole row to come undone. So I backstitch to secure it and then I just sew the rest of the way forward here. And now the block should be correct. <laughs> okay, very good. So my fine geese pairs are all pointing in the correct direction now. They're rotating around this to point into like a square. And this is what our block looks like. And here is what the block looks like. So um, as you can see, on all of these blocks, it's super easy to turn a piece and you don't always notice, but I did see it there at the end, so I'm glad we got to fix it. If you have any questions on making this block, just let me know, and if not, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for following along.